Mega Man 1 Retro Achievements Time. Let's take a uh, quick peek, actually, at what we're looking at here, because, um... So that one's nine lives. Poorly named. <laughs> Alright. Um... A lot of them are gonna be this. Don't lose a life. Don't use the uh, magnet beam. No pausing. When they say pausing, they don't mean the menu. For the record, if you're unfamiliar with Mega Man 1, it has an actual pause button in it. But it's used for pause buffering and cheating, more or less. Uh, and that is not the menu. That's something else entirely. So we're allowed to open the menu, we're allowed to switch weapons. Anyway, there's one of those for every single stage, uh, including the Wily stages, where it's very important because you would use the pause buffer there for sure. Um, so there's a deathless one, there's beating every boss is one. It doesn't... Okay, there's one for getting all the cool pickups, which I like. I think those are actually good achievements. Just like, know the game. Get a million points, pretty rough. And then there's don't take damage on every boss. Not any for the stages, no? No damageless stages, though. Doesn't look like. Beat the game using only the Mega Buster Super Arm and Magnet. No continues, no deaths. So the ones that are missing from this set compared to the other ones are do the whole game pretty much one stage at a time, no damage. I can maybe do... I don't know how to do a Lechman damage list yet alone with um, just the Buster. I think I'd like to start with him. He's the only one I don't really understand. Fireman as well, I guess. I want to see those again. What are my restrictions here? The stage itself, no pausing, no losing life, no magnet beam. For the boss, there's one for just winning. For, and there's another one for winning without taking damage or pausing. Nothing about using the buster only. Well, there's an entirely different thing for that. I'm gonna need to probably study Elect Man to be able to do this. Let's, I'm just gonna jump in and get working on this. <laughs> okay. Lots of... <laughs> Lots of priming going on. Anyway. Hardcore primed. I think I'm gonna have to do a couple runs of the game for sure. Losing a life isn't so bad. No big deal at all on that one. Taking no damage on the other hand. That would suck. That's gonna suck against the bosses. That's all I really gotta worry about for that. I would like to say I'd start with the uh, Buster dueling, but Elect Man's gonna mess me up uh, on that front, I think. I think the first thing I want to do is get him done. Whatever I need to do to get Elect Man out of here, just get rid of him. I need to learn how to do him without um, using the weapon that he's weak against, I guess. I should have started with him, honestly. But when I do damage list, I'm definitely using his weapon. If 
Fireman's a little scary too because damageless on him with no pause buffering, I don't really understand either. That's pretty rough. He dies really fast, at least, to it, but he puts fire all over the place. Big spam. You can sort of dodge him. Those two are gonna be the problem bosses. I don't think Yellow Devil's gonna be the problem boss, because he's a... He sucks a lot, but he's... meant to be able to be beaten <laughs> that way. The internet dropping all the time has killed my momentum for streaming. I need to get back in it. Hopefully they'll fix that soon, but even if they don't, I need to get back in it. Um, I can get the damage list on you later. Oh, I really should have gotten it here. Not too worried about it. I just don't know how to get the fight started. I should have ran right in there and gotten it. The bouncer. The bouncer. Jeez. <laughs> Why is it doing that on every stage? I'm feeling like I kind of want to do the minimalist one first, honestly. It's going to be the hardest one. If I can get that out of the way, the rest will be just a victory run. I'm thinking about that here. That one specifically, I don't know how to get the magnet beam without um, guts. Is there a way to do that? There must be if there's an achievement for it that way. Some kind of wall warping thing probably gets you in there. So let's do that. I think I am going to try to beat this game with just those three things, no matter how long it takes here tonight. Let's do that. That'll be the goal today. I'm not allowed to use anything except for the Magnet Beam and the Buster and what else, according to this challenge here. Specifically, it's, um, three weapons can be used, and they are the super arm is actually legal here. So it's just that one as well. And that one is mandatory in other places, which is probably why it's legal. But, uh, if there's a way to get it now, I'll go ahead and get this thing. So I don't even need to do that, but which ladder do I take to get it now? Be a good lesson for me. No idea how to do the work. These two things go to very different places. It's all good. I'll come back to the stage if I have to, it's fine. I don't speedrun, I don't know any of those kind of things. Oops. But I don't know how you would get out after you get it, either. Seems like a problem. <laughs> I'll just come back for it. It's fine. Won't take long. I'm probably gonna die a billion times to Elect Man. I'll be back anyway. Uh, maybe I'll practice on him or something. 
I might watch somebody do a damageless run of him or whatever with the buster, see if I can... It doesn't require it. I just, uh, I didn't read that I could bring the arm here. I'm supposed to bring the arm. Well, I'm waiting for this guy to jump off. I'll pull up a luck. Damage, no damage, buster only, Electman duel, here's one. Jumps up, stays up on the boxes. This looks easy enough, if he's controlled. He has to be very controlled, though. Okay, I'll try and do this. Without this one, like, stupid trick, you can't beat this guy this way. Like, it can't be done. First things first, we hop right on the box and run. Man. Yo, newbie, <laughs> thanks for those. If I could just get this guy out of my way, I would feel a lot better about my situation here with this. Doing him damage list is a much easier thing because I can use Cutman for that. But if I can get this dumbass Buster achievement on him and Fireman, then we can look at that other stuff. Fuck out of my face! Buster only is fine still, I think, so whatever. I don't need damage this here. It would be nice. I wanted it, but... just a dude with a projectile that takes up your whole jumping space and hits you for a third of your life. That's all he does. He doesn't do anything else. And if you get rid of those boxes, you're in big trouble. And your instinct when you come in here would be to do that because your guts arm doesn't do anything else in this game. Eventually, he decides to go backwards and I'm in big trouble. God, what a jerk. I gotta go back and try again. I wanna get this one out of the way. It's, it's probably the worst one in the whole set for me, honestly. I guess I should um, just come back with the guts arm. Maybe, I don't know. I, let me just keep on going. I'll figure it out.
Iceman is very easy to dodge, though. Well, it's a little tight, but comparatively, those projectiles move slow enough that you, um, it's sort of your fault when you get hit. Here, it's just garbage. I think I'm gonna stick with the plan here of um, not using anything except for the Super Arm and Magnet Beam and Buster, so it seems to me we may as well get our Buster achievements while I do this, so I'm only going after this guy right now because um, I think he's gonna game me over again. <laughs> might take a bit to get him killed. I don't think any of the other bosses are gonna get me. Iceman might. Fireman cannot win you in a damage race with the buster. Bomb man won't hit me at all, probably. Yeah, I don't know how to do the refight. There must be something you can do there. I'm gonna have to lock him up perfectly, I guess. That's in a really annoying stage, but at least it's a short one. I have to beat the copy robot too. I'm not too familiar with that thing's AI. need to do it perfect for 32 hits. to worry when he jumps backwards. He gets a little crazy when he does that. Maybe I should be on the floor with him. on that when he goes nuts dude he's completely screwed up I almost had him that one time oof that counts as damage on the boss, even though I'm not in there yet. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it didn't count as damage. That's it, though. Shoot through the eye frames. I don't 
don't know how he did that. God, oh, come on, man. What a piece of shit. Alright, let's go ahead and get the uh, magnet beam, I guess. This challenge might take me all freaking night getting this Buster game done. on this one. I, I need to do that anyway, I guess, so why bother here? That'll be later. Getting these free achievements on the way and doesn't mean anything. or whatever they're looking for on the scoreboard. I don't actually know how to get points very well. Ah. So that was an achievement missed too. I guess you can just do levels again. I'm not sure. sure. The bosses are worth random values in this game, I think, so... That's something. <laughs> Gutsman is gonna be just as easy damageless now as he ever will be, unfortunately. I can't, um... Really guarantee anything with the bombs here that I can't do ar already. Timing on him is pretty crazy with the, the earthquake. It has to be just right, almost exactly when he hits the ground, or you're gonna get stunned. The bouncer. That's two more. The I'm gonna go ahead and knock out a couple more of these guys. Why not? Yeah, the points don't have any function to hold over from thinking that points mattered, arcade stuff. They didn't keep it for another single- I don't think there's a single other Mega Man game that has points in it. Maybe one of the DOS games. But, um, if they functionally gave you a 1-up or something at every 100,000 or something like that, that would be something, but they don't do anything. Joe. 
This game will be more fun on the second run when I'm able to use weapons. I like the weapons in this game pretty well, most of them. The luck beam is crazy, the ice beam has uses because it freezes the enemy. The magnet beam is crazy good. The fire weapon's alright, does a little spin around, just kind of the shield of the game. Better shield than a lot of the other ones. I really like the cut man weapon, but uh, it's not super great a lot of the time in the game that it's in. Just doesn't do a lot of damage usually. Oop. I'll get that one up achievement later when I have the, um, the ability to easily do it. get this damage list right now. I guess I could do it when I have Fireman's weapon, but yeah. I got one more try here anyway. If I can't get it, I'll get it later. Achievement unprimed, primed. Fuck. Weird jumps. Weird jumps, man. So far I haven't damage list any boss. I'll have to work on that. I might need three runs of this. One deathless, that probably will take a couple of tries. And uh, one damage list on these boss fights. Because I don't think the buster's gonna give me damage list very often, especially now I've screwed up the ones that I could have got. got. Actually, is that even deathless or is it just no continues? Because, um, I've got the deathless on a lot of these stages, at least. There might not even be a deathless thing. It might be parted up the way I, I like it to be where it's um, stage by stage deathless, and that's it. There's one for just not dying a single time, so whatever. Oh, why is that thrown in the mix? That one sucks. I'll get that one easily enough. I don't feel like um, if I'm using the the stuff I'm allowed to use in a normal run, I would take too many deaths. So, like all the hardest parts of this game can be cheated with the pause glitch. This is such a hard thing. It can be done. 
I like to think my timing for stuff like that is pretty good, but damn, is that ever the tightest of anything that I can think of. It's, it's like exactly your walking speed. Frame perfect, I think. And it's a really awkward frame perfect, like hitting a jump button is much easier than what they're asking for there. On, uh, on things that are frame perfect. Holding the run button in advance at just the right moment is really hard to do. I don't think I can win with this health. But we'll see. I stand there and tank him, I don't think I can win, but he could be dodged, more or less. For this jerk, you have to kind of do this jumping around thing. Almost. I'm really not sure how to do this damageless. I, I think I'll pause the gym when it's the deathless run, but for the uh, damageless thing, I have to do it without... I'm just gonna come in here over and over again, try all night, figure out how to damageless this guy without cheating. He shoots so much. So much. I'm allowed to use ice. I don't know how good ice is here. I think it's three or four hits. Oh, sir. So maybe I'll get him eventually, but man, what a gross one that's going to be. Oh, um, it's time to go here. Take a quick death. I don't need to deal with Buster Man Elect again. It would definitely make the fight doable. Like, I don't know about Damageless Buster on him. I think it can theoretically be done. It just seems a little wild. Yeah, I think you have to treat it like he's going to shoot three shots. Um, which effectively will get you hit eventually, I think. If I knew how many shots he was going to fire, maybe I could evade better. Kind of lousy boss fights in this game. Like, Cut Man is like the best one. Bomb Man's okay, I guess. Guts Man needs a little tweaking, but he wouldn't be too bad if you did do that. The other three, though... Iceman just shoots the same pattern over and over again, and it instantly kills you practically. Uh, that's not really an interesting fight either.
Right, I need to take a death now that I did that. Oops. I'm not even allowed to do that for this thing. I need the magnet beam though, I have to get it, so. Let's go ahead and turbo death here. Ooh, that'll help. Mega Buster only for the stage is, uh, including the boss, apparently, so. Gutsman is just really specifically difficult, and he could be a jerk if he bounces the wrong way. I am allowed to turbo. Turboed Chrono Triggers, level 99 grind. It took, uh, what did it take, like an hour or two? Two hours, maybe? At 400% speed? Super boring. It was nothing but repetition on that, obviously. It had a level 99 achievement because Chrono Trigger itself has a level 99 reward, and they wanted, to, as they often do, to show off anything that is content in the achievements. It also has a thing for getting like 11 cats or something. Oh, don't need to do that again. I already have it. Why is it back? I still have it in my inventory, so I don't need to do that. I almost screwed up my challenge again, without even thinking about it. The big jumpy boy is gonna kill me in one hit if he touches me. Incredibly. I definitely prefer to get all the achievements, <laughs> but some of them suck, yeah. There's always like five on the list that are just, ugh, not good, not good achievements. I'll kill him this way. It's fine. Okay, guess I won't. In what world did that touch me? Oh well. He won't get me again because I'll have health this time. One of the achievements for this game here is to collect like so many of those little orbs and I don't know if it's a bad one or not because I don't know what the number ends up being like how high it is to get 99 of them twice basically 150 of them total in the whole run it looks like that might suck I think I have to go left But I get hit by these things so much. But Chrono Trigger has an achievement uh, in the form of 
the Speccio fight, so they wanted to show that off, so... They put one in for it. It's not even get level 99, it's fight Speccio at his last form, which is level 99, so it's kind of like... Sideways, forcing you to get level 99. And then the cats grinding, I think, took even longer. Like, much, much longer. <laughs> He had to kill the robot for points at the fair a hundred times. That's all it was. Oh my god. I hate this enemy so much, he's such a jerk. Well, I only have two lives for like, man, one of them has to be flawless. Shirk! He just iframed right through that shot. I thought I had him on lock a little bit there, but nope. Buster only in this game is a pretty rude ass thing to ask for, I think. It just doesn't make for a lot of good fights in this one. I really like Buster only usually, but this is like the only one actually where I would say it's hell on earth. And maybe Rockman and Forte. Just a bad idea in this game. To ask for that, it's just not how they've made it at all. Yeah, the collections have bad achievements on them for sure. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me they have this one as well. Whoa! believe how lucky he gets with those shots. It just creates that freaking sprite for that electricity right in my face. His iframes are desynced. Fuck. This sucks, man. It's gonna be worse in the second fight, too. I don't know. I don't even understand how you can do it in the second fight. I'm not gonna have the box. I must need to be able to fight him on the floor better than this. Somehow. achievement for doing this joke to block on the first try with its weird five second load time. Oop. I haven't done Mario Ward yet, I don't think. started with Link to the Past, which had mostly good stuff in it. Mostly. Sort of mostly. Largely.
the number of people I've made do the archery game in like the past is starting to rival how many people in Nintendo may do it at this point, I think. tries now. I've come close a couple times here. He just gets out of control. I don't really know if I should be spamming or if I should just be trying to tighten the shot, but when he gets desynced from his iframes, he shoots that electricity and gets hit at the same time, and that's so much worse than when he's on actual lockdown. Ideally, he should not be firing so much. Nope. I can't dodge both directions for his jump, so eventually he gets me with that. I gotta be more patient, I guess, on the reacting. But either I jump because he's gonna fire right in front of me, which he shouldn't be able to do because I should be shooting him, He's jumping backwards and he fires that long one and I have to wait for that. Wish I had some kind of move. I don't know how to get Deathless and Wily 3, I guess with, um... Nah, I'll, I'll be alright with the weapons, I guess. That's The Deathless one will be fine. I'll, I keep thinking it's gonna be Buster only. I'm, I'm in for this Hell on Earth. A Buster only Deathless run, but that's not what's gonna happen. With weapons, I'll be fine on this stage. There you go, Luck Man. Why couldn't you do this before? Why'd you have to hit me in in the first place? Almost got me there at the end with contact damage. The bouncer. Okay, the stage and the boss are locked out. This Buster only hell on earth run is getting on its way. Now I'm allowed to use Magnet Beam on the uh, other challenge, but I'll have to do this one without it. Uh, through the stage and Iceman also, who needs to be Buster Dueled. He's another guy who kills you in two hits or whatever. I think it's three. I think you can actually take two hits and you're done. But, um... I can do that one much more easily than the Luck Man, I think. Now there's an achievement for not using anything except for Buster, Super Arm, and Magnet Beam. And the only reason those two are in there is because there's a handful of times where you have to use them. But there's a Buster Duel, uh, beat the stage here with Buster only as well, and Iceman. I died after I did that. Uh, so I, um... I'm allowed to use Guts. Guts is super arm. So 
So for that achievement, I'm allowed to use the Gorm. And I got the Buster only for the stage by dying and resetting it. So I got the Buster only on the stage, and I got that Magnet Beam moving for that other one. I think I'm good on everything still. It's a little bit tricky to keep it in, in memory, but basically I need to do every individual stage with just the Buster. Uh, and then I need to use Magnet Beam and uh, Super Arm and nothing else for that one achievement that goes all the way to the end of the game. That's a really hard thing to get right there. I'm gonna have a really hard time getting a hold of that one up. I guess on the bright side I can just come back on the stage with Magnet Beam and keep on trying until I get it. Second pass where he's coming back down. That's really annoying and hard here. Is he, um. Makes it a little nasty for the speed things. Almost. Almost perfect. I'll get him easy uh, when I need the perfect on fire. He'll die so fast to that electricity. Anything else I need to do? I don't think so. Love these guys. What a hoot. <laughs> just, I probably should just um, magnet beam over their heads. See, now we need super arm, which is guts. Though I think you can shoot some of these away, actually, in this stage. But... Nope, you have to use guts on those ones. There's some that you can blast away, you don't always have to use guts on them for some reason. I hate these jumps. I hate them so much. I did the one that matters. I think I'm gonna grab that. I guess I don't need it, whatever. I gotta fight the yellow devil with no cheating and no weapons for that matter. 32 shots of Buster probably is what it's going to be. I imagine I have to Buster only this as well as much as I can. Actually, that might not be a thing because it might be impossible. They did the thing to me there. Let me see. Got to check. This one's just no losing life or pausing. 
the whole stage. Eat the whole stage. Um, same for the next one, same for the next one. And then we have Beat the Yellow Devil, Beat the next boss, Beat the final boss. Um, No pause glitch, you can, you can, uh, that's just, that's all. Okay, so I don't need to use the buster anymore. Except to, for that one challenge, so. I'm just like, my brain shut off and I'm trying to remember what I'm doing exactly here. There's this one. Uh, so that's fine. Mega Buster only for stage two, and then there's this one, and that's it for the Mega Buster run. Those two challenges are what's left. Any um, damageless bosses I can get on the way is fine. I'll get a couple others for free because they're just beat the boss at all. Uh, fuck. That's what I'm working on here. Current challenge. This game lacks the iframes that they immediately realized was not fair at all to take away on spikes. So if I get hit into them, I'm doomed. Come down here. Jerks. I'll just die then, I guess. Couldn't be further away from where I want you to be now. <laughs> it's currently not great. I don't currently wishing these guys would come here. Hey. Do I have a Actually, let me see if I have an achievement for doing this stage with just the buster at all. I don't think I do, actually. Maybe I can magnet beam over and just forget about this. No, I don't. I'm allowed to magnet through. I have to use the buster on the boss. I'm out of lives, though, so jump on the spike. I only, the only buster stage left is the next one, and then that's it. I'm allowed to use magnet here because it's mandatory, so I am allowed to use it on that section too. That section's terrible. Uh, so I'm not gonna play it the way they want. It doesn't always have to be that bad, but it often is. It doesn't work at all. Broken ass. Oh. I gotta do better on these sections here. That jump is so rough. It's, it's, it's like tight as hell. I will grab that, um... How do I even do this, actually? I don't even know how you do that, to be honest. I 
don't even know why Alec works, but they actually designed around it. Well. Alright, I'm just gonna mag it through because, yeah, uh, trying to do it the way they want causes those issues where if you take damage, you just fall through them. I don't know why they stop existing as platforms if you take a hit. Hopefully I have enough magnet to cheat. It's pretty sweet how you uh, take that hit all the time, too. I'm a big fan of this area. energy now, especially now, to get out of here. I don't think I do. Nope, no way. I guess I'm screwed. Gonna have to fill up. At least they gave me this. track here. That's probably enough. I need to play better here on this section. It's not that hard. They've been looking at the problem. Maybe they finally fixed it. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I say that, it goes off for the rest of the night. We'll see. It has been on since 8. No trouble yet, not a single frame. They might someday actually fix this issue. And then I can stream once again. What a treat. Pretty neat. He decided I was not going to hit him this time. I'm going to have to do better at this. I'm already taking too many hits. The really hard part is that one double jump thing that they ask for sometimes. Okay, it's gonna take 16 successful goes of it. This right here is the hard part. I'm only allowed to hit him once for fuck knows why, uh, with the buster, so 16 passes total. like this song. Currently feeling pretty good about this. Easier than like man, that's for sure. Next stage is gonna be the real pain. The real sorrow. The like man is in the middle of the stage and I still have to do Buster only and I won't have any blocks to jump off of. And after that I've got the copy AI robot to do in a Buster fight as well, which I, uh, I'm not feeling too good about. And there's Cutman. He's not anything really, though. He's almost just a mini-boss in that stage. Compared to those two. Next stage is, like, gonna determine whether I can even do this challenge or not. If I have the talent, because damn, that's gonna suck. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna get beat. I did not come in here with full health, unfortunately, so it's going to make a difference, I think. I'm so close. Three more, I think? Ah! It was four more, but yeah. No, it was three more. Which had full health going in. I've got the pattern down now better than I did. <laughs> Who 
Who doesn't love this fight? Hey, come on. What more do you want? He's cool looking. This fight is so easy to fix. Just fix the numbers on it. Uh, that is to say, when he comes out to shoot, make him shoot for like, I don't know, 10 seconds instead of 3. Don't give him iframes at all, really. Mega Man 8 did it right. Give him some other moves that are not so freaking slow. Mega Man 3 is... I think it's 3 did this fight and it was okay. This is definitely the slowest of them. I think the worst one is an X5. Stupid. <laughs> now it's ridiculous. The damage that one does might as well be instant death. I don't feel like you should be allowed to be out of range. Eight's Green Devil is so good. Mega Man Power Battle, the arcade game, has Yellow Devil, and it's a really super good fight. And Mega Man 8, the deathmatch is a first-person shooter, it's got the Yellow Devil, and in the case of that, that's completely different, uh, and interesting. doing way better this time. When I come in here for the damage loss, I might not even need the glitch. I might just need electricity to speed this up and be done with it. I completely uh, lost my train of thought on what piece was coming out next. But I think I've got him this time. Oops. Oh, fuck. He's catching up. Couple mistakes and you take some serious damage. I need four more without taking probably three hits. Two more. It's really hard to stay focused for as long as this fight takes. Last pass, unless he's too high to shoot. The bouncer. All right. I don't even know how to approach this challenge coming up. I have no idea in my head how it can even be done. So let's just give it the million shots we're going to give it and <laughs> see how it goes. I don't even understand how you can do a luck man here. Um, I can figure it out, then maybe we can get something going on, I guess. Apparently it can be done. That's all I know, based on the challenge spreads, but it's going to be the hardest one in this game for sure. I can't even get the health here because they're guarding it so hard. How do I fight this garbage? How the fuck do you do this? I 
<laughs> He's just gonna contact damage me. I'm gonna take a death here and reset it. He takes no damage at all from the buster. This one is disgusting. But yeah, I have less terrain to work with too, so I have this big, big problem where I cannot get away from him. This game slides around a lot. There's a lot of little stuff. It's like you're on ice the whole time, for one thing. The physics are <laughs> something fierce. No idea what to do here at all. I have no concept this guy and when I finally do beat him I've got another probably harder boss honestly down the road I have no idea how to do that one either um, pretty inexperienced with that boss unlike Lechman who I kind of understand I don't know anything about copy robot always cheat there thank you I might need to watch someone do this. Oh, thank you. I think playing like that is the way to do it. Defensively, never jump. That's ticket one. Just don't jump. Um, if he shoots it in the air, who cares? If he doesn't, then um, there's no checkpoint in this stage. How many lives do I have? I think there is a one-up and a, a heal in this level, at least, if nothing else. Uh, so when I beat Electman, I will have something for the other guy, even if he crushes me a bunch. I gotta fight uh, Electman and Cutman both times because of the checkpoint. I think there is one, but it's past Electman. When he does that shot that I know he's capable of doing, that absolute garbage shot where he shoots it halfway up in the air, cannot be evaded. It actually is instantly going to get me. There's nothing to do about that. And so that's a scary thing that he can do. He can just decide to do that, I, I think. I'm not sure that I have any control over his aiming. But if he feels like it, I'm crushed. Thank <laughs> you. 
I like the better when he wasn't jumping into me. He seems to be all about that right now. For fuck's sake, that hurts. This is terrible. <laughs> that sucks so bad. Couldn't it be a worse choice for this one? I don't know. Might be here all day. I would like to farm lives, maybe, but I don't think that's gonna help me any. Because there's no checkpoints, and um, I'm concerned the copy robot's gonna take my number two when I finally do get there. Should this just be my stream for a while? Just never turn my computer off or leave a retro achievements running. I don't think I'm allowed to use like passwords for the um the whole game without weapons achievement thing. So I'll have to just leave it running. If I can't do this tonight, that is. Ooh. Why is he running into me here? Ah. Yeah, keep doing that. Whatever you're doing. Ah. I lost it by one frame, and that's all it takes for him to break that cycle. Whatever he was doing there, I want to repeat, obviously. Cutman is actually easier without those bricks in his arena if you understand that he'll jump over your head every single time. thing we can farm. Except for the, uh, the item seems to be dropping off. Yeah. It doesn't have to drop off. I think it's a camera trick. lives will matter when I get past him. I'm just gonna have one shot at the next guy. He's not the end. <laughs> Still one more to go. way too much damage from touching him to do any kind of damage race. I need to lock him up big time, uh, and I basically have two elect beams worth of HP to do it, and maybe one or two collisions. Face. 
Nah, he's gonna kill me. Broke the pattern. Ah, oh, jeez. All 32 shots. Not dead yet. I hate this part. I don't need to be getting hit here so much, but at least I have the health to survive it. What was that one? Just Buster only for this. Yeah, okay, I cannot get the one up here. I'm not allowed. There's no Magna Beam. It's permitted. And I'm not allowed to fight him either without getting hit. Like, there's no way through here without getting hit by these jokers. These two I can do, at least. Technically. away. That's fine. I didn't want it anyway. I just said I did, you know. But it's not what I thought it would be. I thought there was a health. Oh well. I don't think there is health then. It must just depend on the, uh, the drops here. Which I did not get. I got one little bit. How does this guy work? I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like I usually fight him without the buster here, so I'm not sure what he does. Probably runs around and the shots are probably not too bad, but the contact damage though. Oh my god. How am I gonna get away from that? He doesn't jump high enough for me to jump under him. I still have another try with full health here. And this one's way nicer, this checkpoint. I'm gonna watch somebody do it real quick. Copy robot, no damage, buster only. Is a video that exists. shoots instantly, so your first move is probably to run left and jump. Yeah, that's what it is. Somehow they got him to um, not want to jump at them so much. You can technically run under him, apparently. This is trouble. He doesn't always shoot when I shoot, but he also shoots when I shoot. This guy is, um, out of control. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Unhinged boss fight here. number of shots he takes compared to me is not even close to fair. Unfortunately. Ah, I was so freaking close, man. 
I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of this stage. That is the challenge, though. Will I ever be the Lech Man again? That's the mystery. Dude, I hate this guy. <laughs> Wish he wasn't here. Man. I've had one success with the Lech Man so far out of like 20 tries. Pretty nasty. I don't need you helping out. The problem here. Black man makes no sense, really, as a boss. So he's definitely the worst one. The other one is gross. But he's not as dangerous. He doesn't kill me in three hits. I think that's a big part of it. Probably a big part of it, I would suspect. Yes, dude. <laughs> like, it just doesn't work at all. Man. They really toned this guy up way too much, huh? in. It's like the only way to do this really is to break his pattern uh, in a way that they didn't mean to. I'm thinking that they intended for you to use cut and that's the end of it. And that, that's pretty obvious based on how he dies as quickly as he kills you. And nothing else seems to be realistic to do here. I thought I was still immune to damage. Didn't think I needed to try to jump that crap. Lost my grip on a like man. Shit's like frame perfect for like two minutes, I swear. I think I'm checkpointed now. I'm not sure about that either, actually. I might not be. And I cannot get down through here without taking damage, I don't think. Piss. Went a little too greedy. At least I'm checkpointed here. That's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Hopefully I can get another one up. But they don't seem to drop them at all. Like, maybe two of the whole game have dropped so far, so... I'm 
going to run for it. Hit the hit. Because they drop so many points, those little point things, they don't drop anything else really in this game. They always give you the score first. That eats up half of the drops, it feels like. Maybe more. Starting this fight weak. As if he's already shot me like four times. That's <laughs> not fantastic. I still have one up though. So one more try on the copy robot. I damn near got him last time. I don't know. I'm lucky to lock himself up jumping back and forth too much. If he never comes this way, he can't win. It's when he body slams me for contact damage that I'm in big trouble, and he's coming this way now, finally. I think that's random. So, I'm at the mercy of RNG for this fight, basically, is what I'm saying. made the difference. If they would have just dropped any health at Better Mega Man. Free this hell. The bouncer. I'm checking the, um, just a refresh in a second here. Doesn't look like it gave me that one. Let me restart this thing. So something popped. It might have just been the stage being beaten. I'm checking. Make sure I got the Buster achievement for that, hopefully. Because I did it! It looks like, yeah, I did. Uh, where's that? This one. We got it. That's the... that's got to be the worst achievement in here, so it's done. Everything else is, uh, normal, I would say. Uh, this, the rest of this run's not going to be easy, but it will be easier than that, and, um, going to be able to do the rest of the game much more easily after I'm on my next run here. Maybe I can finish this game tonight, actually. One session? It's not a long game. Like an hour, uh, probably, once I'm doing the Deathless run. If I do as well as it as I think I'll do.
Doing damage lists on all the bosses might take a little bit of time. I think I need to um, do that and then restart once they're all dead and then try to do the deathless. Deathless prevents me from being allowed to like restart the fight until I get it. So obviously that's a problem. I need to learn the pattern here so I can... So they come from the center first and then right? No. The center's awful because I gotta, I gotta be on the right side or I just take damage. I guess I should be hiding over on the right side. Are they random? I don't know. If they're not random, this can be done pretty easily. If they are, uh, I'm thinking it's going to be much harder to deal with. But eventually I'll get lucky. That last run almost had it, and I didn't come in with very much health. I came in with even less this time, though, unfortunately. Really got messed up on the stage. Does it ever come from the left again? Because the left is... Um, it counters my position right here. Looks like it is random, I think it is, so... Fuck. Yeah, I'm dead. There's nowhere to run from that <laughs> I guess I should just sit on the left and hope. I don't know. Nah, I gotta... If I'm on the left, the only one that bothers me really is the center one. And not that first one. It only bothers me when it comes in later. I gotta stop getting hit by nothing. Shouldn't be getting hit by that. Ow. Yes. Messing up. The Bouncer. I'll be able to use the super arm for them later for the damage list. So the first four can be bustered and then the last four can be super armed instantly. which is another achievement, and I'm allowed to use the Magnet Beam, so... Okay. I guess I'll, um... Try to get that other one, actually. Let me see it. 
Keep the game with just Mega Buster, Mega Arm, or Super Arm and Magnet Beam is one. That's the one I'm after. Uh. Back up a bit to the start of these. This is the one I failed, uh, just there. No death pausing, no magnet beam. So we'll get those on the deathless run later. Almost there. I still have to do Buster only, um, because Super Arm doesn't do anything, uh, in the one boss that's weak to it. It's not Wily. Sure the boss that's weak to it is Cut Man, and he doesn't have any boxes in his Wily arena anyway, and he's not here. Damn, that's really tight. Gross. I'm thinking I can handle Wily with the Buster. I might be underestimating him though, he's a little weird. He's not as bad as he is in 7. jump is as tight as they could make it, right? My tractor's late. Hey. It's too early. I can definitely wait longer than I'm waiting on that. I'm, uh, I'm making it harder than it is. with the hardest first, if you're just coming in. Buster only is definitely not what this game is about. <laughs> I'll have to check exactly what I'm allowed to do with the other ones. I don't think I'm going to be doing the pause glitch. I think I can do anything else. I might as well read them while I wait, I guess, here. Almost all of these are no pausing, no magnet beam, don't die. That's the whole set almost. 
Do I care about that one up? I might as well get it, I guess. It's not dangerous, per se. And I'll wait until this thing turns around. <laughs> Now we got three Robot Masters in a row. One's Gutsman, one's Fireman, and one is uh, Iceman. I have some damageless things to do on um, some of these bosses. I might just do three runs. Uh, one of them being damageless on... Oh, it's Bomb Man. I forgot about him. Is it four bosses? No, it could be. I guess it is, actually. I only killed Cut Man and Left Man. So it's four bosses. Bomb Man is one of them. He's very easy to deal with, at least. Well, that's fine. If they want to add 15 more, I'll come back later. was guaranteed to hit me. Unfortunately, uh, Iceman I don't really have room for error on this guy. And these jumps make me nervous, yeah. They're garbage. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck getting this boss rush dead. Do I at least start here? Oh, I started the freaking boss rush. Gross. Iron Man being here makes this nonsense. Like, absolute nonsense. Fuck! I'm dead. It's over. I'll get the Deathless achievement on some other run. Hey, that was pretty good for him. I'm still alive. I'm gonna have to do Gutsman perfectly to get through here, and then I do have some one-ups after that. Iceman and Gutsman with no hits. This is the hardest thing in the world. I really want to burn him down so I have to dodge less, because I will eventually mess up on this. That. That jump right there is so tight. I was so... <laughs> bomb man should not be hitting me so much. Come on, bomb man. He can, uh, he can be a little bit of a goofball with his jumps sometimes. I think he wants to stay away from you. I think he's designed to run. Fireman. sucks. He hurts so much. Gutsman, without getting hit. I think I can maybe get hit once. What are you doing, Gutsman? What a piece of shit. He screwed me. <laughs> wow. There's no way to dodge that. <sighs> if he would've just not <laughs> done that one thing. Oh my god, I think I need to wipe out here because I can't win with just one life. That was the rudest Gutsman could possibly be. He shouldn't even be allowed to do that. Damn.
I will get a checkpoint after he goes down, at least. So there's that. I won't get any healing, so I, I kind of need one-ups at that point. I would like to have a real shot at Wily. One life probably is enough. One full HP life is probably enough, but I might have trouble with him, I'm not sure. You can burn him down pretty quick with the weapons I usually use, so I don't have to fight him for so long. I do know his moves. Unless I do incredible at Fireman, which I feel like is RNG. Yeah, like, there's no hope here. I could have killed him, I didn't think I, would, I should. I think I need more health on the other two. to do like fuck fire man dude he's, he's busted as hell he's the only one here who cannot be evaded really i don't know how the damageless part of him is gonna work but i'm gonna have to work on that i think first I'm gonna bring his weakness and just see what it takes that's man please don't uh do that thing you did you know that thing do that. Hey. He's doing that thing immediately. Thank you. Back up. Yeah. That's cool. That's fine. Boss rush. All they give me is this. <laughs> it's just a little energy. Buster is actually a really good weapon for this first phase. I don't think it's very good on the second phase, though. Wily One is proof that they know that iframes aren't necessary, and yet I give them to the bosses constantly. I have um, two tries with this guy. And I can hit him with the buster, uh, I don't need to do any magnet nonsense or anything like that. Phase 1 is easy, phase 2 is a little confusing, the shot is wild, it's one of those windy shots. But I've certainly done it before without getting hit a single time with the weapons that you use here, which are like Fireman and Cutman, Electman maybe.
I need to bait that shot and then jump up and get him. When he's backing up, I can hit him twice pretty easily. Oh, I can always hit him twice. I got you blocked on, buddy. Minimum man. Hey. Yo, the blues, you missed my buster only run. You're too late. Welcome in, everybody. I'm going back through, though. I have a lot of work to do yet in this. I think I'm going to try and get this whole game done in one go tonight. I just finished um, eating the entire game with only the buster, pretty much. Now it's time to go back through and do all the rest. This game sucks, the Buster. It might be the worst one for it. Which one could be worse? I think the only option that could be worse is Rockman and Forte. I can't think of another one where I'm like, oh no, <laughs> not the Buster. <laughs> and even then, if you play bass, not so bad. I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the one-ups and stuff. I don't know. Let me reboot. Let's just reboot. There's no reason to um, keep fighting these fellas. start with the um, damageless boss killing. So I'm just going to run through the game two more times. This one's going to be... I can die. I'll take deaths if I need to. To reset fights until I get them damageless, that's fine. Start with Cut Man. I'm allowed to use whatever weapon I want. I can't use the pause glitch, that's all. Stages are all beat, the bosses are all beat, that's half the challenges, um, obviously. Look at the one I'm working on in there next. There it is. Ah, uh, Sigma Final and X with just the Buster means a full charge, right? Of the pink Buster to do one damage. Isn't that right? He's only got one move at least, really, that scares you. It's the, um, 
when the fists light up electricity, so if you're really good at manipulating that one attack and dodging it, you can stay up on the hands and keep blasting them, but that still sucks a lot. It takes forever. Pausing is only during the boss fights, I think. And when they say pause, they mean the select button pause. The one that freezes the game, not the one that opens the menu. Son of a bitch. I don't know how to start this fight. Cut, man. I gotta get in there without getting hit. I need to get past him, and that's all. Once I'm on the right side, I'm good. I've got him, probably. If I need to, I can gut, gut some man the blocks away or something, I guess. I certainly can do this one, it's just a matter of that first hit. That's the only dangerous one, I think. God, he's such an asshole. He just stands there. He stands there and waits. I'm not sure what to do about it. But one more try. His weakness sucks, too. I need him to come up here, or wait down there, and not just stand diagonally away from where I'm at. I don't know why these bricks have to be here, other than that there is weakness. I think they're in a bad place. They should be on the other side. Alright. Fuck, and this time he jumps right in. What a jerk, man. Ah, 100 years cut, man. I'm gonna have to do the whole stage again, what a piece of shit. <laughs> this is why I did not want to do all these in one go. I don't see any reason why I should go get Gus Man, that's not the problem here. The damage achievements continue to be something I don't think should even exist. Capcom made them themselves, so what are you gonna do? Sigma Busters. They, they ought to split the whole game up into segments, really. Uh, it shouldn't just be beat the whole game with the Buster, like like I just had to do with Mega Man 1 here. It should be individualized each stage. For a couple of reasons. Checkpoints being the biggest one. Because if you can't do it in one night, you can come back the next day and quickly get there in like, what, 50 minutes if you're slow? <laughs> like, 30 if you're fast, you can get back to Sigma and try again with the Buster.
I don't really need the energy because I'm trying to do this damage list, so whatever. Yeah, they did the same thing here. They, for no reason at all, put a buster only achievement at the end. Alright, come in. Why do you insist? Encountering me here. What can I do to get past him? I don't really understand how I'm gonna make this happen. I've done it before though. I don't usually think about it so much. It just kind of happens. It just works out that way. It just jumps over me. If I could sneak in there, shoot him, and then I would be good. That's all I have to do is just walk off the edge, fall directly down, and then... Yeah, that's how it's done. Got his ass. Now I have a chance. As long as I don't slip on his kind of weird jumping. The bouncer. There's like exactly enough room and if you hit him he'll back up and he'll immediately be like, I'm gonna throw my blade! And then he misses, and he jumps, and he misses again, and you can just keep doing that. Uh, the next son of a bitch is, should be Elect Man, but I need Guts Man's power. Um, Guts Man, I just did damageless in Wily's. Do it again, there's less room in his field here. He's technically weak to Bomb Man. I don't know that that's actually good though. I kind of want Magnet Beam for Bomb Man because of the one up that I need to get there. I kind of want it for Gutsman as well, though. I'm gonna have to go back to Gutsman stage. This one up is almost impossible to get. It's one of those um, super tight little quarters that you have to fall into. And if I had the Magnum Beam, I could try and just cheat my way up, and I wouldn't have to do it the way they made. It's like exactly Mega Man sized. <laughs> I don't really understand what inputs you do to make it happen, to be honest. When you're falling at 10 million miles an hour, and as you do in this game. You cannot hold right to get in there, you need to like tap right or something at the, just the right moment, or something like that. NES lag? That's interesting. Well, that just goes to show how <laughs> this jump is. I actually got in there last time and I failed to get the one up afterwards because even when you get in there, you still have a pretty tight jump. The, the jump that's in Wily's later, the triangle jump thing, or as I call them, I guess, where you have to just like exactly jump at the <laughs> super, super tight moment. Oof. That's man. Your stage is one minute long. What happened? So it's actually harder probably with bombs to flawless because sometimes you just can't hit him with the bomb, he just leaves. Now let's go get our Magnet Beam and die to Elect Man 500 times. <laughs> Calm down, Elect Man. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm not sure. It's going a little nuts on some of the boss loads. 
but whatever reason, I'm not sure. Uh, so for Elect Man Damageless, Cut Man is absolutely the way to go. I've done it many times. He's nothing with this weakness, but he still can get me pretty easily with his little beam. I did it. I have landed on the block. I, w I would, uh, to answer your question, I'd probably take back seating for this if I'm stuck on something. Some of these AI patterns and stuff aren't things that I have knowledge of. But I think I'm past the hard parts, honestly. Buster Dueling Elect Man was something I actually just looked up a video of because I had no idea how to do that crap. That sucked. And doing a Wily 2 without any weapons also was fierce. Uh, I don't know that you can Buster only damage list this game. I think it actually can't be done. I think Fireman puts a wrench in those plans. I'm not even sure how you do Fireman with his weakness, which kills him in three hits. Uh, for the record. I don't even know how you can, even then, kill him without taking damage. I'm gonna find out the hard way here in a second. Without the pause buffering, I don't know how you can do it. Got the Magnum Beam. Gonna need, um, cut man ammo here. Need to stop wasting it. I think there might be some on the way, though. What is that one? Wait a second. What one did it just say I failed? Oh, it's no Magna Beam, no death. That's the Deathless one. You're not allowed to use Magna Beam at all on the Deathless one. Okay, for no reason, as far as I can tell. I don't, I don't really understand that one, but I don't care about that one right now. We're gonna die. Anyway. I won't die on the Deathless run because I'm gonna not care if I get hit here. But I think he's gonna hit me. I'm only concerned about getting the damageless cut man, uh, elect man, etc. achievements right now. So as soon as I got those bosses all done, which is going to go all the way to the end, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> all the way to Wily, I've got to do every boss damageless. Yeah, that's what I figured, you piece of crap. Got me with the hijinks. I hit him with the cup blade and then I jump up there and then we see how it goes. One more try. Getting that first hit is essential. Gives me time to get up on the cubes and dodge. I think I just turn right and throw it. Thankfully, we're facing the wrong way for no good reason. There it is. Don't have to redo the stage, that's nice. <laughs> the bouncer. Iceman should be free as hell. Oh, 
I'm also gonna give a shout out to Wandering Newbie earlier. For hosting me. Follow the big crew folks. Folks. Yeah, you're always looking the wrong way in that room. This game positions you pretty badly for a couple of the boss fights. I can just get to Iceman. Alright, did I get this one actually? Maybe this level's done. Um, I'm checking. Uh, Bomb Man and Lock Man aren't done. Fire Man is not done. The other three are, so this stage is done. So I can go uh, Magnet Beam the one up if I need to. I mean, actually, I don't think the Mega Beam will help there. But I can do whatever I want here, is what I'm saying. I can cheat. With this, I don't have to do those nonsense jumps here. Getting this piece of junk, I don't really understand. Ah, the bullets made sure I wouldn't. I'm gonna have to come back into the stage, try again, I guess, until I get it. If you die right here, where does it put you? It probably puts you back at the start of the Yoku block pile, too. back in and try to get that one up. That's going to be the hardest one up to get in terms of the stage the prizes. Bouncer. So now all I care about in this stage right now is just that one up. Nothing else. And then we can go lose to Fireman for a hundred years. I don't know what to do with him. RNG and lucky shots. It's gonna take three ice shots. I think I can evade him if he's nice. For maybe maybe four shots in a row, and that's it. After that he's almost certainly gonna hit me. There's just no way. So if he chooses to only do single shots or whatever, I don't know if that's a thing. I'm going to try not to use my energy up too much here, so I can magnet beam more. I don't know that that'll help much. Because I, uh, I tend to need, um, that refill here. I guess I can grab that and just have full energy instead of half, like I usually do. I only have, um, one try at this anyway. This time. Why is it so stingy about that? Jeez. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Welcome in, everybody. Guess what's up, dude? I don't know how to get this thing. I was holding left, and I um, I pressed it early, I think. There's something I can do to make it, like, like a lek beam would slow the game down. If that actually works, then maybe that's all? I don't know. If latency is all I need. I can pause a bunch. Is that useful here? I guess I don't really think about the pause glitches, things like that. Oop. I don't know. <sighs> no, I don't think that that's gonna help me at all. I should fill up a little bit. I have no idea how to get this piece of shit. <laughs> it's just, it's so tight. This actually might be the, the hardest remaining achievement. Um, it's warping me around crazy. I, don't, I think that I actually lost some jump time in that. What I just did there. Wine, man. I, the restrictions of retro achievements making this killer. I'm gonna turbo to death. At least I can do that. Ah. I don't know how to do it. I never can get this piece of shit. Do you feel like you hold the left button at some point, or you come in at an angle or something? Because, like, if you're up against the wall like you would think, and you're holding left like you would expect, it doesn't work. I can tell you that that is not the way to get this thing. Maybe if I can get this kind of latency to happen somehow, I can get it to happen. Fellas can really load the screen up with bullets. Maybe I'll slow this stuff down. Miserable. <laughs> that sucks. 
I don't know if I can get it, man. I might have to just leave this one for later. I got other achievements to get that will take longer. Just wanted to get this one out of the way, but it's gonna end up being the last one done. I was trying to sweep in from the right. Nothing works. Just have one more try, really, on this one. It's getting late, and I'm spending all my time with this crap. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave the stage after this last try. Go after Fireman and uh, see where I'm going with the rest of this. See if I can get no damage to the rest of the bosses. Tiny hop instead of walking off it screws up your momentum in some way that makes no sense. Tries of ice to try and get this. This one seemed like the scariest challenge left, but now I think it's that one up. Still keen on finishing the whole game tonight if I can get through here uh, as fast as I think I can. We're like more than half done already with this game, uh, this run. But there are some tough guys coming up. The uh, scariest ones probably for damage list. This guy followed by, I don't think it's even the yellow devil, I think it's the guy after that, the copy robot. Though maybe I can cheat on that one, like somehow make him waste his shot and then switch to electricity and hit him for big damage, and then switch back. That's the best way to damage list the copy robot. to um 
shouldn't have killed him. I didn't mean to. He won't respawn if I come back in here, will he? The bouncer. Can I go back in and try again? That's cool. I kind of ruined the run by killing him there. That's not normally a thing in Mega Man. thing if I go through the whole game and uh, with no deaths and still don't have it it seems unlikely but if that is the case then I will go back and grind points in these stages do that or Joe yeah I got a achievement for deathless on uh, fireman because the only thing that really happened that sucked was that he hit me a couple times That one. I was worried about this one too a little bit after the last one. I don't think I can magnet beam back up there now that I look at that situation. But it's done. Well, <laughs> let's go try, I guess. And then Gutsman has one I need as well. And then, um, you can go back and try to kill Fireman properly. shift. <laughs> Pop like this? Is this what you're saying? Like, do this? I should be able to go into that door right there doing the same thing, but I, uh, I already missed it. Already dogged it. I'm gonna dog it again. Here we go. Oop. Hey, why does that work? The Guts Man. The advantage here that we're going to get is uh, many, many tries for Fireman. Because the Ice Beam doesn't cost any freaking energy at all. So we'll just be able to just keep on going until he's got it. Let's 
Somebody rebuilt Iceman. Get this. Decided this takes too long. And these guys don't care about electricity at all. Cutman will do it. Really. It sounds like it's doing it, just isn't. Fire, for some reason, does it well. Here's what gets made with bombs is like, sometimes anyway. Because he has such a wide range of movement. I cannot super hit him with these. Wow, what a jerk. I don't think I've ever in my life seen him go all the way to the door like that. He's pissed. To be honest, all the one-up power-ups, pickups, suck. So how am I gonna get nine? I have five right now, which is um, more than I probably have ever had in this game. Just rerun this Iceman stage, I guess, is maybe actually ironically the easiest one. I don't know. There's a way to get the power up to respawn. That's what I want to do.
That's the real way to do that without getting hit. Here's this misery. Got five tries. No idea how to dodge this. See if there's a task. Fireman Buster. There is. Allegedly not a task. Let's see. What did you do? You jump in place somehow. A very, very short fires on the floor, I guess. It doesn't burn as long if you don't move, maybe. Doesn't make much sense, but hey, what are you gonna do, Mega Man 1? I think something about hitting him stops him from, yeah. Hitting him is what stops it for God knows why. It's like a channeled spell. <laughs> I think I got screwed by him moving too close. I consider tasks to be like a reference for what a perfect run might look like. Oh my god, dude. Maybe I shouldn't even move forward. Why is he so close? What the hell? something to it, but I haven't gotten it a single time yet, and when I do get it, I will have him because it only takes six shots. I... Mm, it might actually not be smart to use the fire uh, ice here. Oh my god, I hate this challenge. <laughs> His 
Ice the wrong choice? Like, is it actually easier to buster him here? Because it, it's easier to lock him up. Oh, wow. Especially these one-up drops been all my life. One try buster. This is the loop. Too bad he hit me already, but I don't think you can do that with ice. I don't think you can do that with ice. It takes too long for the new projectile to show up. So ice is actually impossible. To do. I just gotta get that loop started without getting hit, which is pretty rough on its own, but once it's in there, I can maybe pull it off. And if he starts to get really low to where one hit would kill him, I could maybe switch dice then. But why risk breaking the loop? It's actually dead simple if you do it exactly this way. Now I know how to perfect fireman's dumbass. The bouncer. Is there anything else I should be doing here? Uh, let me check my achievements list here. Um. Not really. Uh, the only stage that's not done without dying or whatever is Elect Man's because I used the Magnet Beam once. Now I need to do Yellow Devil and Copy Robot and uh, CWU-01P stage and Dr. Wily stage with no deaths. I need to get the one up in uh, Wily 2. I need a million points. I need to defeat the Yellow Devil with no damage, Copy Robot no damage, CWU no damage, and Wily no damage. Collect a bunch of orbs, and then there's the Deathless Run. Get here, Wiley. We gotta hurry up. <laughs> That's the wrong weapon for this job. These guys suck too much. Hey, not bad. A million points, yeah. That went well. No damage yellow devil fight is um just electricity, so I don't want to waste it all. I have a couple lives to throw at it. I certainly have learned this pattern from when I did just a little bit ago with just the buster. It's only gonna take three shots, I think. Maybe four. This one, I think, is actually going to be pretty easy. Even if I'm wrong and it takes like 10 shots, I think it'll still be easy. But I'm pretty sure it's um pretty high damage. The magnet platform goes, if you hold it down, it keeps on going, and it doesn't really cost any more energy. 
The only reason to really let go of it early is so you can make a new one. Okay. It will actually expire before you can walk to the end of it. From time limit. So there's no limit really on it. It's distance. And because it will expire from time limit, I just make a new one as quickly as I feel like it. My electricity went right around his eye, so I didn't even see how much damage that would do. Okay, it does four, so... I think... I need to do as well as I did before with the Buster, pretty much. This is actually gonna suck a bit. Score, you gotta do it with oh, no game overs, more or less, uh, right? So, we'll get that on the Deathless run almost certainly. Especially if the score doesn't erase after the game's over, like when the game's finished. I don't think the score resets, and I can just go to a new stage, keep on rolling. I probably will get a million points from Deathless alone. Disaster area. Excuse me. Weird as hell. Trying really hard to get me. need to play perfectly for a minute or two. I don't usually get hit by the eyeball shot, but it is a, a risk as well. I need to keep in mind that it even does that. It's a very forgettable attack. Oop. Wish he could be hit more than once. They gave him... He's not blinking, but he must have, like, 10 years of iframes or something, because you can pause glitch this guy and hit him more than once, for sure. No question at all. Just need to do the same thing four more times, no mistakes. Can that be done? Jumps make me nervous, they're really tight. That part right there, I got lucky. One more. Oh, he would've got me. The bounce. 
sir. Now, how the hell do you do copy robot without being hit? What weapon is the top choice for making copy robot pathetic? I usually just tank him with uh, electricity and pause buffer sometimes if I feel like it's, but I don't need to do that to win. I, did, I probably do need to do something to uh, not get hit, though. See that guy was with a luck beam. This is a different game. I mean, you can use the stuff. It's really mean. Uh, the upper floor has the hole right here, and so you fall on it, and you're like, ah, oh, this time we can get that energy. They move it over here as a joke, as a prank. That new fireman works so well. The bouncer. I don't think I care about the failure that just happened. I need the damage list thing, that's all. We'll get that other one later. I have to get that one up for a different achievement. beam, I guess. He seems to jump and shoot when I do. Sometimes he shoots on his own, though. Like, he's gonna open up with a fire shot, I think. to run left and jump and then fire probably I don't think it's doing very much damage it's also not very efficient unfortunately Set when I walked in here, so I guess that counts. I'll just play around with him this time, I guess. Let's see exactly what he does. I think he's gonna fire a shot right away. Okay, I'm gonna do something like that. No, he didn't actually unprime it, I just pretended it did. That happened to me the last time, too. I'm gonna run out of ammo before he dies if I try a third time here. This is my last try anyway. Consistent with this. 
How do you not get hit by him? Fuck. I wish the energy wasn't so crappy on it. I gotta, I gotta do a whole bunch of stage running because I am out of ammo. Of course the enemies never drop anything. can manipulate him to not kill me with electricity when I use it, because it's very hard to dodge. So if he fires it the same way Lechman does, I could, um, I could maybe do that. I guess when he gets near me, I can use the shield to push him away if he's being a jerk. But I don't really know how to do it without getting hit myself. <laughs> he jumps over, doesn't fire, waits to land, and then fires. Why? I don't think I should use the fire projectile, I should use the um, shield or nothing here. And the shield is very hard to use without getting hit. If he jumps into me, he gets me with his own shield. I think what I'm running into is the plant man barrier bullshit where he jumps through the shield sometimes. Let's try again. Oh no, I have another life chat. I wish I didn't have to run the whole stage. But that's the problem with Mega Man Chivos. I had something going on. I think I need to um, really control his movement. Oh my god, the delay on this piece of shit. This sucks. Let's try this. Real quick, just curious. There's no way that'll work. He's a nightmare with that. I really need energy to drop, but they're not gonna give me a single bit, so we're just gonna try Buster, and if I start winning, I'll switch to fire.
Oh my god, dude. Wow. He can't shoot because I can't shoot. But I can make him jump if I want to. You can see when he's trying to shoot. Maybe I can cheat and um, get him to stop shooting for a second if I want to. Ugh, fuck off. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, this sucks a lot. It's just because it's so far away I can't even try very quickly. I'm gonna have to five minutes in. I imagine he doesn't do anything with Super Arm. He was trying to shoot there without shooting because he didn't have any energy, because I didn't have any energy. I feel like I'm any closer to getting him than I had been, unfortunately. Like, I'm still getting hit by the fire as much as I was. I had a couple decent attempts that looked pretty good, but I ultimately didn't get him low enough to feel like I was gonna win. I think they did the reference wrong, is why I think that's funny. There it is. Maybe they did it on purpose, though. It's not, there may only be one. <laughs> that's, that's not, that's not correct. Alright, that hell is over. Now this hell is less hellish, because... I just need to do the first half right, and if I did the first half right, then I can uh, switch to Guts Arm and finish the other part. And if I fail completely, I've got to redo the whole stage, just take four deaths, like, whatever. Either have it or don't. And uh, game over for every failure that I... Because the boxes don't respawn. So that's the shitty thing here. So it's even more of running through the stage than the other one, but thankfully this stage is half as long. No mini-bosses. I don't know if it's loaded or not, so I'm just gonna let him get me. I wanna see something actually for measuring damage. That's two. It looks like there are eight of these. So I just need, yeah, to switch after four of them have been slain this way. Preferably with no damage. 
It might actually only be seven. Seven might be right. But I should be able to beat the first four just standing in the corner anyway. allegedly is in here. <laughs> and damageless Wily is what matters. I've already got three, so kickstarting that off, but if that's a true thing, then we can use the magnet beam to grab both the full energy and the one-up and come back. If that's how that's done, I'll figure this glitch out if that's something that I can easily do. If I can't respawn it, then I have no idea how to get nine lives quickly. Uh, I guess I could uh, head back to Iceman stage a bunch or something like that. I'll give it a shot. Either it works or it doesn't. The oh, I got the orbs. Nice. I didn't mean to. That's one off the pile for free. Don't need to worry about orb collection anymore. I don't even need the uh, star this time. This far? Is it back? Let's find out. Did not respawn this. Not far enough. We grab the star now. We still have my energy. What if I go back into the hallway here, outside of the green? Achievement thing is easy as hell and over with, because this is not a problem at all. I've got enough magnet beam to get over there, get the recharge, and get back. I don't know how far back I have to go, but I'll just go this far because it worked. This will save some grinding. I wasn't really looking forward to <laughs> doing one-up runs on those bonus one-ups. I don't think they're very easy to get, honestly. Just be running the stage over and over again trying to get each one of them. Probably Gutsman would be the most reliable one to get, but even that one kind of sucks. Right, currently at seven, I think. Yep, we're running through these Mega Man achievements pretty fast. I think I will be able to finish tonight, given that all the really annoying ones actually did get cleared. Iceman's one up, and uh, Fireman got got. Speaking of which, it's time to see if I can do it again up in his arena, just get that perfect run. See if I can duplicate that trick, or if I'm just a one trick, <laughs> and that's it. Never again get the perfect on Fireman.
It's all good. Achievements are mostly um. There, I got them in the loop again. It took a minute. They're mostly deathless. So one big deathless run will get just about all of them. One of them's about points or some crap like that. <laughs> hey guys, man, how you doing? Okay. Well, it's supposed to be damageless from here on out, so this is fine. Cutman is really good, if I recall, against phase one. Phase two, I think I've already mastered and it can't even hit me, and it's fine. This guy's in trouble. A million points is one of them, but doing a deathless run, I feel like gets you that many points. Might be wrong. No game overs, I feel like you get that many points from a deathless run. Gonna have trouble with phase one, I guess. A popcorn shot. It's baffling to me. Some of the bosses are worth like 100k, randomly. I think that's what happened. It's random as hell. Also, the orbs that pick up are worth points, too. I think the buster's fine here, actually, because I can do it from way back here. It's just a buster fight, honestly, the whole way through. Unless fire does really good work here, I don't think it does. Is there a better weapon to use than Cutman and Buster here? It might be uh, electricity, but I feel like Buster's gonna do it. I wanna try everything I have here just to see if he takes some bonus damage at all. Useless. Guts is useless, obviously. Electricity hits two times. It's, it's gonna be uh, latency heavy, too, so that gives me a dodge chance. But I feel like it's easier to just do it with the Buster. This is a Buster fight. All the way through. Busted my head. Yeah, you can go back into stages that are done. That achievement's just a waste of time. <laughs> that achievement's free. have a really hard time with the long distance blasting. Maybe I shouldn't even go that far away from him. Maybe I should stick to him. Let's go, Mega Man.
The turnaround is such a nightmare for me. I don't know why. I gotta be able to deal with him turning towards me again. Because he starts by moving towards me. I have no trouble then. It's just the switch up. Oh my god, I'm so close. Come on, man. I don't want to lose all my lives and then not have this guy. The nine lives was very handy for training here, but I'm going to run out soon. Oh, come on. No way. You piece of shit. Absolute nonsense, dude. Ah, uh, I gotta watch out to the very end. I gotta wait until he's shot his shot and then... Oh, come on. Then get him. Ugh. Not again. I just gotta watch that last hit, man. Yes, dude, come on. I still have nine. I still had live left, damn. That's twice now he scammed me, although you've been trying to do phase two. I did. This sucks, man. Come on. Back to it. Fuck, fuck. Can't believe I couldn't get him. All those tries were so close, every single one of them. And then the two cheats that he did. Phase two, I think, is easier. It's less running around. But I do need to get into position and pull it off still, and this might not be as easy as I think. Aiming a gun is just math. No problem. Don't play Wily at billiards. I guess I need to remember that I'm not allowed to use the Magnet Beam here on my Deathless run. In fact, I think I um, would prefer to get that done right now. So that I don't have to worry about it and I can use my Magnet Beam later. Because the Deathless one doesn't say anything about Magnet Beam. It, ha it can't, because it wants the whole game, so it has to let me use it when I need it. So we can take advantage of that and get that right now. Don't use the Magnet Beam at all. And then I can use it on the way back in. This jump right here is, uh, it's not something I want to have to do if I don't have to do it. Yeah, for some reason my internet survived. First time in a long, long time. If it's going to go off now, it's extremely late for what I understand it to be. I don't think it's going to.
I was afraid to do this game because some of these achievements, especially damageless on this guy, seemed like a huge pain in the ass. I don't know what it is about his loop that makes him stop shooting the other waves and just stick to fire one. But once he's in that loop, then you can get his ass. The, um, the damageless video I saw of them doing that, they moved forward a little bit. Not when I did it in the room, though. When I did it originally, I did not move at all. Okay, I've got four tries to damage less this guy. he misses when I do this. No way. Really? And the worst thing that could have possibly happened. I got pixeled right at the end of that. And now I have to do... Can I go back to the Wily? That sucks so bad. There's, there's like no way that hit me. Either. Like, absolutely no way. But way, we'll go back through it, I guess. Oh, they just won't let me have it, huh? exactly the same time it hit me. I don't know that I should have been using fire anyway. It's safer to use the buster. The whole time. It's just faster to use fire. Which I thought maybe would make it safer. Okay, we can go back through Wily. I probably have to do all three stages though. Yeah, great. Well... I can just go. I can do whatever I want now. So there's that. Pause buffer every jerk that gets in my way. <laughs> I'm allowed to do it now. It won't take too long to get back, thankfully. This is a very short game. But, um, boy, howdy. Gonna have to do all that again. I can't believe you got away with that last frame nonsense. I couldn't even die. It stole everything from me. I need energy. I wasted it all at the start for some reason.
Okay, that's probably enough. One more, just for a kick. Really, the only thing that matters at this point is um, getting Wily with no damage, so I can do whatever the hell I want all the way there. I don't think there's anything to do other than Deathless for a lot of these. Yellow Devil includes pausing as um and Deathless are mixed together, you're not allowed to cheat when you're doing that. <laughs> it's such a goofy thing. I probably should try to um, not pause buffer if I can, just so I can do it later in the Deathless run if I want to. Because um, that's tied to the end. Like, there's individual stages that are making sure I can't pause buffer, I guess. Why the one, two, and three are all on the list. That? I guess I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. Hey, Dan, what's up? <laughs> There's no spikes there. No pausing, no dying, no pause buffering. Should be easy. Enough. What's wrong with Iceman stage? There's way worse things than that, I assure you. <laughs> like doing Fireman with no damage. Or a Luck Man, for that matter. I know the Milky Blocks pretty well, though, I guess. Oh, yeah. Um. I'm used to their hijinks, I guess, but you can uh, magnet beam through them after you get that one achievement done. I would say most of the time they don't usually do that to me. Thank you. 
I, um, had the damage of Swily down to the last hit, and he hit me as he died. It ruined my damage list run, and I'm currently working my way back to him. And that's the worst thing this game has done to me today. Because I run through stages I've done already. <laughs> yeah, the whole fortress needs to be redone now because of that. Uh, it would be kind of like if he killed me in a deathless run almost. It's almost that level of pain. Almost. With this game, because that's half the game I have to rerun. I, I feel like I can beat the uh, copy robot with fire. No trouble at all. Uh, with a little bit of damage allowed to be taken. jump. What a butthead, man. Yeah, Devil takes the precision of being able to do it seven times in a row with not getting hit, and that's if you land the shot. A minimum of seven times, you'll have to get the Electric Beam shot. Doing it with just the Buster takes a minimum of 16, which you will not be able to get away with because he'll be out of range to be even hit at all a lot of the time. So more like probably 24 passes of that without being hit to do the Buster. I mean, I didn't do the damage list at the same time, I guess, so... He had me down to one hit when I got a buster kill. Pretty nasty. I don't need damage list on this boss. I just need, um, no death. I think I actually have that. Alrighty, I... I see. No pausing, no death. On that one. It's just a Luck Man and Wily One now that are deathless and then the final boss. Thank you, go play games, what's up? There's a lot of garbage in this uh, game, yeah. It's kind of hard to use the same achievements they use in all, all the other Mega Men because of how ridiculous it is in this one to do some of that stuff. Like, they always have damage lists of the boss and sometimes the stage, but uh, Yellow Devil is not one that you want to see that for, or Elect Man, for that matter, is really gross. He's a disgusting guy to do without getting hit. Kind of have to break his um, entire AI. You have to know enough about him to be able to do that. I'm doing good. We're making it through. We're down to six, I think, on this one. One deathless run should wrap up all the rest. But I gotta get that wily, um, no damage achievement first, because then I'll be able to freely get that clear and be done with it once that happens. I will be doing one more run after this. Of the whole game, no death. Hopefully one more run. I don't know where I'll take that death when I take it, but hopefully we won't take any. Not very many things are going to threaten me with damage, so it would be uh, losing control over a jump or something. Yeah, the one up got sucked out of my existence here. That's okay, I guess. Hey, what kind of tile set should we use for Wily? Uh, how about Gutsman? Just make bricks out of Gutsman. I actually finished this stage. Um, I can use the Magnum Beam now. I forgot. Uh, because I accidentally beat Wily, I can now use the Magnum Beam here if I feel like it. Uh, let's do the, the science on this, actually. What if I don't pick up the star and go all the way to left? 
will one up respawn. Is that how this works? I'm dead certain that if you go this far, the one up will respawn, but maybe the star is tied to it. It is not. You need to go about that far, I guess. trying to work out how you work. I don't understand him. I still take less damage doing this than using ice. Once he gets in his loop. I don't think you can do him damageless here, honestly. It seems like only in his room. I think something's messed up about him here, maybe. Maybe the size of the room or something screwed it up. Hey guts man, how you doing you piece of shit? Back up! Oh my god. What the hell is his problem? <laughs> he is just consistently doing that shit to me. Ugh, wasting my lives. real didn't know he could even run up that far and there's not really a way around him here you kind of are just done for Let's see what ice is like on this guy it takes seven hits of this and i think i take more damage than that Man, you son of a bitch. There, that's better. He doesn't like those when he's doing that shit. run under him. I thought you could actually run under there. I guess just the very far back where it's really low. Cannot do that. Damn it. Getting clipped by phase one all the time. Halfway down and then I get hit. Come on, man. Damn, dude. This is such a long one. These projectiles are super fast. I needed, I, I, he tries to cheat really hard there and I needed to really line it up and I uh, got hit trying to do it. The transition into that final hit is absolute garbage and I need to, I don't even know how I did it the last time. I need to make him miss for sure and then go under it and shoot where it's not gonna hit me if he gets two seconds of freeze time. Uh, it probably is worth farming the one up, unfortunately. I don't know how many tries it will take to get what I had the last time to happen again. It's just that phase one. Once the phase one's done, I can 
probably get it. Phase two is less dangerous, but it still could hit me. This one up doesn't take too long to get. Like safely get. I'll just grab a couple of these. lives. Let's go with that. Try not to get killed by Gutsman for no reason. <laughs> oh man, also enjoying the pause glitch garbage. really spamming, isn't he? Get him. Revenge. Just gotta play perfect for like 30 seconds or so, you know? No mistakes whatsoever uh, on this. Okay. I really need to switch back and forth there to make those shots miss. It gets pretty tight. Oh, come on, dude. I wish I had had this when I, when I had it, right? I don't like this fight. For damage list, it's crazy. At least I can get three hits when I get them. I missed. Yes. Fuck! He actually got me with that. I think he needs to be moving backwards when I start it. So I have another problem. Or I'm not going to be able to get in safe position for the second phase at all. He shot that wall, uh, wide. And if he does that, I'm going to get hit by it every time. So I need to wait for him to just circle back, all the way back. I want him to be moving backwards when I start phase two here. Oh, come on, no way. That was so perfectly aimed and it didn't work. God, that sucks. Hey, stop cheating, you jerk. Oh my god, I didn't have enough lives. I don't know what to do with phase one. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is exhausting. He's ruining my ability to do this one night. It's, it kind of got stolen when that happened.
I'm gonna just wait here and um, get nine lives so I can avoid fighting the fellas over and over again. It might save time in the long run. Because I still am planning on doing the next run. It's only an hour, probably, to get that Deathless run done. So I kind of want to just do it. I don't think it'll be a very good stream if I just do Mega Man 1 real quick Deathless. Uh, so... Just gonna keep on rolling here. to the night show. Hopefully that's far enough. Yes. Uh-oh. Oop. Seven lives now with this. Well, plus five. I'm allowed to be impatient with Turbo and still be good. I don't dislike Mega Man 1 very much. It's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna go with that, I think. I gotta be able to beat him with some of the grand pile of lives here. surprised how much trouble he's giving me, really. I know it's a long, two-phase fight, but damn. It's mostly because he cheats that one time where I, um, I'm good, and then he decides I'm not, and he just hits me again, magically. Fireman really fucked me up. Oh, jeez. Gets me, uh, hit me one time and I'm dead. Take so much damage from this guy or fireman, thanks. gives me the illusion that I can dodge him and still hit him with ice, and I don't know that you can, because it doesn't seem to stunlock him the same way. Seven chances here. Yes. They have a really big hitbox, I think. Is their real problem here. That and they're lightning fast. He does not reload at all.
I'm gonna wait until he comes all the way back around, I think. Even though it's a little risky. It feels risky anyway. I don't know why it does. That's why, I guess. But I, it's just because the fight needs to end. I need to really get to stage two, but... Fuck, if I can. <laughs> It is so hard to perfect this bullshit. Ah, oh, you're just too damn slow. I don't have slide or anything. So good at aiming that damn gun, yeah. Like, what a hero, that gun. Don't do it. Okay. Oh my god, the second one. <laughs> off. Oh my god. Okay. If he comes in with this part, maybe I can dodge. I don't know. That first shot's gonna be hell. On phase two, I'm almost certainly gonna get hit by it. And whatever's left over from his nonsense. I hate that it wasn't just a fluke, but actually extremely likely that he's going to get me with his last shot during phase one, no matter what. No matter what I do, I don't know how to control that. There's got to be a way to position that shot so it sucks. By the time I'm in the air, he's already fired it at me, so it's, it's already after me. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe I'm not going to be able to do it again, but that's the fact. Ah, nine lives gone just like that. Holy shit. I might need to come back to this. That sucks. A lot. That really cost me, huh? That, that was really a big loss. Losing that one health hit. That was a train wreck of a thing to happen. It's worse than I thought, because I cannot reproduce it. Buster works the best. Nothing else is any good at all. For some fucking reason. I don't, he has no weakness at all, this guy. The only things that work are things that hit him multiple times, and the Buster does fine, like it's not hard to use, so... I have no reason to use anything else. trying to find these lives faster than I was. Don't need to be doing the boss rush a hundred times today. is all for. Ah. Whatever. Must not have been on it or something. Well, this isn't going very well. I think I'm losing my focus. Because it's, uh, you know, been six and a half hours. Not of this, but of this game. And Arya.
The Deathless run is going to be so much easier than doing this bullshit with Wily. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been able to actually broadcast the way I used to. The way I like to. My internet has been pretty bad. I didn't do that very well. Farming lives, making this easier for, well, for me to game over less, I guess, but not really easier. It helps me stay focused when I'm doing the same thing ten times in a row versus all this interruption. Seven lives. Might as well max them out, I guess. If I can get the internet to stop that and get back to broadcasting 60 hours a week like I like to, that would be nice. I'd be in on that real quick. I got a lot of things I want to do. It's my birthday and partnership marathon week here coming up next week, so. Those pretty much coincide. My 10 year partner anniversary and, um,. I think 10 year, maybe 9. Birthday's on the end of the month. I like to do gong show and all that other fancy stuff all day long that people want to see. Help me pay for my taxes, they're quite high. <laughs> if you feel like giving me anything for my birthday, I'm into that. It's usually very helpful for me. I think I do like bombs here for safety. I think it's easier to hit him with these, uh, even if he's a jerk. Killing him in three hits is nice. Doing it damageless I don't think is as good. Alright, Wily. Ten lives! The Elect Beam will hit him for one, so maybe I can stand under him when he's on his way retreating and hit him for the final hit with the Elect Beam when I'm feeling like it. Oh shit. Okay. Move! There's a chance. The jump's so damn high to hit him.
10 lives gives me the confidence. That sucked. That was like 50 attempts. And then when I got him, he took it from me and killed him at the same time, forcing me to redo the entire fortress. I think there's time for a deathless run, though. Beat the game without dying or using a continue are both the same thing. Dying is obviously worse, so no deaths, basically. Those two. A million points. And then no magnet beam or pausing in a Lechman or Yellow Devil stage. So I'm gonna have to do Yellow Devil correctly. This is the last challenge I left for myself, really. And then no deaths. It's of course, just a generic, regular one. I don't think I'll take any after all this training. It's a perfect time to do it. Let's get it. For five more minutes or so. Let's go, let's go. Finish Mega Man. Um, let's go reboot. I can turbo if I feel like it. Actually, let me do something here. Ooh, a useless one up. All right. If I don't somehow have a million points at the end of this, I'll go get it really quickly by farming stages for it until I do. little orbs are worth a thousand apiece. So ten of them is one percent, I think, right? I'm, I'm not sure, actually, but I think that's right. I hit that guy five times. I think one of the hits did not register and it's still alive. I'll take this. your weakness on you this whole night. Not once. Oh well. We're gonna gun it to Guts Man and just have super arm and just get out of here and I'm just gonna go in my normal order I think. the magnet beam as soon as possible so that I can cheat the other stages and then I it's less risk just across the board
we go. These guys are so violent. This guy's worth some points. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is. Hundred eight thousand. Easy. Yeah. There's. As long as I don't game over, I think I'm pretty much guaranteed to get a million. Cause we're already getting up there in number. No problem. Those orbs are so worthless. <laughs> it's just not enough of them. It wants me to know about this achievement I missed. No magnet beam, by all means. Anything else, just no magnet beam, please. Just last. Just fight that one jumper the right way and then you're good. game should be next. I mean, a Mega Man 2 seems like an obvious one, but I don't know if I want to do that one. Might be worse than this. No damage quick man's almost certainly in there. I haven't done Mario at all, I don't think. I imagine they'll make me play in hard mode. So Quick Man will only get half killed by the Flash Stopper? Meaning that I'll have to do half of his bar without getting hit a single time, somehow. And then I can turn on the flash stopper and finish off the other half. But I don't know how that's done. If you can just beat Quick Man on normal mode and that counts as the only damageless thing there is, then all you need to do is bring flash stopper and he's dead. I mean, it doesn't count. I thought it did. Oh, that sucks. I could have sworn it was more. On normal. I guess I don't play normal at all. Okay, cool. I moved past that guy. This is a really good chance. I was worried that guy might hurt me enough to make uh, like man dangerous. But now I'm coming in with full health. I don't think I can die here. 
As long as I don't miss somehow with my cutting blade. for the pile. I gotta use the magnet beam now to get through here without having any troubles. So it's um just yellow devil stage without losing a life or pausing is next on the list of things we'll get. Like, that's the next achievement that will be unlocked. Wily one. did it. The Luckman did somehow give me trouble. I'm gonna save my bar for this because I obviously do not want to deal with the jumpy boy platforms up the road here. I want to skip all of it. I'm going to uh, get the energy. It seems safer than just going, just in case. Can't believe how easy this one up is. Damn, get every time, no problem. at all. I feel like it's bouncing off of him. It's not returning. I think it didn't do any damage. I'm allowed to pause buffer luck man if I uh, into Iceman here if I want to, so he's not actually got any chance of winning. It looked like the, not only was the blade not working, but it was bouncing off of him and not returning to me. I have no reason not to do Fireman next because it is technically Bomb Man's weakness. Makes him really easy. If I somehow get in there with no health, I can still win. Robot Master is only going to give me like half a million points. Might not have a million just from the, the run through. And I think that might be RNG's fault. Should I keep grinding a stage or should I uh, actually finish the game and then after credits go back? Oops. 
Don't want to get hit wrong here, I'll die. Knocked into the fire. Getting hit a lot. Bad luck. Hopefully Fireman doesn't kick my ass. I sure wish I could get that health, but it's gone. I know it's super unlikely he can beat my health here, but now I'm nervous about him for no reason, because he's so hard to dodge. Okay, it's been deathless so far. Robo Masters are all done. Just a uh, bomb man left. Go bomb man. Really bad place. Hey, I could have got that one up. Cool. One more deathless. Now it's just Wily's left. The yellow devil's uh, in the way. I gotta do that one without getting killed. Uh, with no cheating. That's the last one I'm not allowed to pause buffer. I'm allowed to pause buffer the copy robot and Wily if I want. So I will. Although I feel like I've got the copy robot down now. If he starts winning, I'll just elect and kill him that way. All right, let's go, buddy. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not what, what the best weapon for raw damage on these guys is. Probably like man, but I'm not sure. Seems like it. They're worth enough points to kill them. I don't think a single one of them is next to a Gutsman Rock. I don't like that. Sit up. That's better. I'll grab the health down the road. Damn. This room up the road, I think, is the scariest thing left in the game. This room with the jerks in it that I have to magnet across. And the room preceding it, for that matter, is also... For that matter. Yeah. This one. Don't like it. Maybe I can freeze him up here so he won't be in my way. Yeah. In this room. I'm gonna magnet across, but it's still a little scary. Sketchy. Depending on what these jerks decide to do. Oh my god. Gravity got me. That sucks. The whole run's ruined. I was just like one frame short on the bar being far enough over. I'm gonna get this double done so that I can pause glitch it. Let's just do that. I hate this room so much, man. And the gravity on Mega Man 1 for that jump there that got me sucks. Super mean. Uh, so much grinding to be done with the deathless garbage. Alright, back to it, I guess. Excuse me. It's pretty short. It's taking longer than I wanted it to though, that's for sure. Let me just make sure that this guy is no threat to my run either, so that I can just kill him next time, and I don't even need to play properly, I can just cheat on my deathless run. Just in case he actually gets me. Ow. Nice shot. He only got me there because I let him hit me like five times coming in. Ah, it's so distressing to deal with the deathless thing the whole game. Any any one thing that happens wrong in this instant death game. And you're finished. Thank you. 
three to go. Oh no, I don't get it because it's also deathless for some reason, right? I forgot about that. So I don't even get it for that. I, have to, I still have to do it correctly when I get through there. Ugh. Completely forgot that they threw in like four conditions into one challenge. Here we go with the new run. This is the one, right? I'm gonna be impatient and turbo through places, uh, it's gonna get me killed, but hey. Save time, maybe, theoretically. <laughs> Think of the minutes I'll save on my death. Man, it's a couple of scary places I gotta do all over again. Deathless run left. I already screwed it up once, I could say. I have confidence I'll get it this time, though, honestly. Cutman's only worth 70,000. Maybe I'll run through Cutman twice, just to make sure I get the points on here. Eh, I don't need to do that, right? Like, that's crazy. It's like I didn't need to get stunned there, like a dope. Man, only 50k for this Joker.
Yeah, I gotta lock man down. Fireman's annoying as hell. But I I got him once. <laughs> what? Sudden, now that I have no use for them at all. Well, I'm already uh, working on stage three here, so it's going by pretty fast. really bad news. Maybe I'll go back and grind some health. I can't believe he did that to me there. That hurts so much. I think I can still take one hit from a life man. I didn't think he would jump down the ladder. He never did that for me when I was trying to do it earlier. And then you can climb up the ladder and get him when he goes past. Luck man. turboing just random times in this run here. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm not ahead of the curve on the uh, points. I'm not getting as much as I need to break even here on the goal, but I'm not super worried about that. I do expect I'll have it at the end, or I can just fix it real quick. I suck to see that I have to do the whole game again, though, for some reason. That jerk. I'm just going to keep running. No, I'm not, because it's too high. I don't trust it. I can kill that guy over and over again, honestly. With the boost that I'm missing. From the bad RNG. He's worth value.
One more should definitely seal that up. I definitely have killed a boss's worth of those guys. bad if that went the other direction. Gotta be careful with this magnet beam and it's weird that. That's what killed me last time. What happens? that you cannot lock him up with ice for some reason. I don't really understand why. It just doesn't sink out. I think it's because you don't have as many shots. Maybe if you're really dead on exactly right with it. It doesn't seem to get stunned the same way. It doesn't seem to stop spamming. doesn't get in that loop at all, even when the shot's perfect, he just doesn't stop it. He keeps on spamming triple shots and double shots, and eventually you can't dodge those jumping. The reason the other way works is because he stops, and only shoots a single, and then it gets cut off too. Like even that one doesn't get the whole shot. He gets like half of a shot, instead of six things on the screen at once.
good bomb him. Yeah, you can say it if you uh, have an idea. I never figured out anything except for Buster. Alright, we're back <laughs> where I died at. Let's try to do better and remember that the magnet beam walking off of it will instantly plummet at the speed of a Tetris piece going downward. Should not have let him hit me. This challenge is no deaths allowed. No magnet beam. Where? Well, no pausing. No, no pause glitch on the yellow level. Oh my god. Taking the hits. I feel like I almost died there. I'm gonna have to be careful getting through this next area. I can get this uh, health here. Of course not. I don't trust my jumps here. I'm not leaving without this. That's more accurate to where I'm supposed to be at here. Yeah, I figure it was a proximity based thing, but I can't figure it out from the room distance. It's fine though, he doesn't do enough damage to bother me normally. It's just that one hit zero damage thing. That sucked. Alright, I'm back here in Magnet Room. I've got a lot of it. for the yellow devil with a pretty good amount of health. Enough. I only need to hit him seven times with the electricity. I couldn't get it um, last time because I had already died the stage, so it didn't give it to me, so I still have to do it legitimately. Hopefully that's not too bad. I, I just need to not mess up because I can certainly out damage him here. So high up. Man, I gotta stop getting hit by that shot. It's bad enough without that. In a good place now. I'm allowed to pause buffer the rest of the bosses from here on out. Not to die in this stage, uh, right here at the beginning of this crap. I'm not keen on that. These guys like to 
run in there and get you. Trust them at all. <laughs> I'm not letting them move. Um, Magnum Beam needs a little bit of juice. You bastard. You got me. need that one up. Don't care about it, I don't think so. I would like enough energy for the electric shot, but I should have enough here. I just need one. Oh, that's huge. I don't think I need anything from uh, energy-wise, really. kind of just jumped right through me that time. Oof. Not a great start. I need to not take damage here, honestly. I need to do whatever I can to clean this up. That'll make me feel a lot better about the safety of the zone down there. VCT, what's up? near the end of my deathless run here, it's the last of a painful bunch of stuff, but I'm getting there. How you doing? I like to shoot just one of these to screw them up on timing so that they don't hit me when I'm running through the door. That one. Couldn't do it. I shot two of them on accident. What were you playing? Well, lucky. Sounds like a lot. How is it? Every single one of these has come down the center. Okay, there you go. Six out of seven of them came down the center. One more stage to go. Did I have magnet beam? left and I waste it all. Am I gonna have to do that? Okay, I have it a little bit. I don't have to do that awful jump to the star.
Oh, there's this. Nice. I'll guarantee no problems, hopefully. Certainly trained enough on this area, getting the 10 lives. I <laughs> grab both the things and get to the boss fights which I have done big time. I've done them I just finished doing them like six hundred times. I'ma wait until this thing's coming back the other direction. Nice, that's good to hear. I've seen it come across my feet a little bit. I didn't ever finish the first one very much, I don't think. But I got into it a million years after everyone else was done with it, though. As usual. Uh, who's next? I think it's Fireman. Oof, that's not good. I don't like my situation. Time to start cheating. I dislike my situation big time. Shouldn't use bombs here. Gutsman's ruining me. Okay, it's time to cheat on Wily and uh man, I am screwed up bad. I never have been hit that much on this. But Wily is um Yeah, hey, guts really got me there. Shouldn't have got me at all. I should have hit him with the pause and got him three times with that one bomb, and I didn't for some reason do that. A little further, please. Okay. I don't know if I can, how much damage I can do this way. I think I can maybe... I mean, I just finished doing damage to this, but he has fired a shot, so I'm gonna have to move. I hate this situation so much. Oh my god, I can't believe it, dude. I got all that way and he got me. Yes. Never gonna make it. I took so much damage on the way in, and I don't know why I had to take so many damage. That's probably not the weapon to use for pause buffering anyway. It didn't work at all. What would be good here? I don't think you can really pause buffer this jerk, honestly. Also, his shots do four freaking damage. Get this guy. Wow, he's ruining everything for me today. Yeah, it's not really designed for this fight. It's better on all the other bosses. Every other single one of them. I should not have even fought against Fireman, for example. He shouldn't have hit me a single time. There was no reason to let him. I screwed up by not cheating enough. All four of those guys coming in. Not a, not a single one of them should have hit me a single time. Well, I got 
everything except for this last one here. Glitching him is better than anything. He won't even get to fire a single time. I'm about to give it to him. Now that we got the million points, I don't care about anything else. We're gonna go straight for the fellas here. I'm not gonna give them a single bit of chance anymore. They're gonna get maximum pause buffering. <laughs> Especially Yellow Devil, that guy isn't going to get this, uh, opportunity. Wiley's oh, messed me up real bad today. He, uh, really got me with the nonsense. Not just that. Though that one hurt the most. The other thing he did maybe hurt just as bad. He got me on the last frame and died on the no-hit run. Yeah, I'm using turbo quite a bit to just... The run probably takes like 40 minutes for me. Uh, turbo will knock it down to 35 or less. Ugh. Some health down the road. I need to stop getting hit though, obviously. I don't think that works. You have to unpause the game and then every frame that goes by you hit him again. Since Wily's spamming so much, it doesn't really work on him. But every other boss doesn't do that crap, so. Could even do it to a Cut Man here. Or one or two. And I do. Fuck you, Cut Man. For no reason, I'm gonna get you. Okay, it doesn't work with bullets. I thought it did. I need a projectile that's not this one, that's all. One that doesn't erase when you shoot it. Should have been able to pause buffer the bomb. That was um, a big misplay on Guts Man. I don't know that that would have been enough health for me to win with, but there's not really a reason to not be able to do that. One bomb should have killed him. That scumbag got around that somehow. See you later. 
Black man. We go again. Hundredth time today. What other achievements are they gonna add to this set? Is that listed somewhere? What could they possibly add to it? I can't think of anything really. Game's short. They've already got the ridiculous stuff in here. to any of them. I don't think that one's in there. I don't think anybody's looking for that. I'm not sure that it's even... I don't think anyone would do that. Like, it could be done, I guess. Sort of. Not really. my item. Could it have been? My impatience there. Cost me a lot of energy. Thank <laughs> you. 
no Mega Buster? What the hell does that mean? Doesn't seem very interesting. Seems like more of the same that's already in here. Sorry, it's man. Sounds like it's worse. <laughs> it sounds like it's a bad set. Maybe they should reconsider. Anyway. I don't think uh, energy drops should ever count against you, that's silly. That stuff will drop right on your head in some of the levels. That copy robot one is uh, simply a matter of equipping super armor before you go in. <laughs> I literally can't attack in that case, though he would run into you, I guess, if he could. He might. It's RNG. Yeah, Mega Man doesn't have, like, terminal velocity or whatever it's called when you're at falling speed max. Like, his max speed just keeps on going up until he teleports into the floor. When he's falling, he doesn't care about anything in this game. He's just crazy. And Magnum Beam accelerates it even worse. Because it thinks you're falling the entire time you're on it. Easy to forget, because you're obviously not falling. And you're jumping off of it too, and, you know, there's no force against you. You're just going up. what we gotta do to him in Wily so that he can only hit me once or twice. Jerk. <laughs> I think he did most of the damage to me. Him and Gutsman got me the worst. They sure do a lot.
Here's an example of if you, if you allow the momentum going down to accelerate, you'll get hit on the way down of that ladder. If you just fall off of it like that, you'll be about right to just fall all the way down. Alright, we're back to Wily already, so... Yeah. Wily 1. Ah. This thing's hurt so much. I need to make sure I can run under it before I go nuts here. Freezing these guys. Not for the magnet beam hell room. If I die again, I think I'm calling it for the night. How do we get it on this runner? We don't today. Shit. Okay, I'm safe. That was bad. It was a little short, and I knew better than to try to jump there. I want more energy. Wasting all my good energy. unlucky. Oop. Okay, I got him twice with that nonsense, but I, I still didn't really connect the shot I need to, uh, to be able to pause this. Shit. I'm losing it. I gotcha. Should be the end of him. Six is definitely the easiest one, I think. Maybe five. Here. I don't know if I need it. 
checking it. I'm gonna get a man frame data on this guy as well. I am being careful, because yeah. I've died quite a bit here. I think that Yellow Devil fight is a pretty tricky boss for Mega Man. It's up there in difficulty. And if you don't know how to do it, these copy robot fights also pretty gross. Wily's not as bad as he gets later. The Elect Beam is a popular choice for the pause buffer because it is huge. It's super easy to line up the the hit. Unless you're fighting the yellow devil and it's a tiny little eyeball and it goes under the beam. Mega Man 1. Oh, it was me. Good. Well, I don't love to. And there's some shockingly bad design decisions in it. <laughs> I think 2 is definitely harder than this one, and it's only because of the nonsense, not because it's, uh, intentionally harder. Back at the end game. It's my last chance today. <laughs> another 30 minutes or so have gone by, and I'm back for another go at Wily, who I will fight um, probably with just the Buster, like I was doing. Honestly, I can if I can beat him with no damage with the Buster once in a while, then surely I can just beat him with a full health bar. So. I can get there with a full health bar, I guess. Last time I got there with literally one hit, unfortunately. So I need to do a better job on the boss rush. That's all. And then there's this one jump here I'm gonna worry about. Use the magnet beam, try and get through it. Good. That worked. I'm always a little nervous about the shuffling in this game and how weird the movement is. Hmm. 
Sorry, bomb man. Can't play with you this time. You're too dangerous. You have the ability to actually hurt me a little bit. And you, you piece of shit <laughs> with the eyebrows. I guess those aren't eyebrows, it's just your candle. They got me on the way out. Ugh. Well, I'm still in much better shape than I was the first time around. Got his ass. I'm gonna do Buster only until the final part and then flame when I'm hiding underneath. That's the ticket. I'm just gonna evade the way I did the first time. than I thought, but we got it. I feel like Doc Airman's undodgeable pattern sometimes. And Doc Woodman is despicable. Absolutely. If you don't know the weakness of going in, you cannot win. That's what it feels like. Hey, thanks for joining me, everybody. Once again, then we have Arcade Pit on Sunday, so not tonight, but tomorrow, the 24th. And I've got a birthday slash partnership anniversary marathon uh, probably Friday, Saturday, and Sunday next week. Probably all of those days I'll be on. I might do more than one arcade pit for that matter. Maybe we can do like four. We get sicko with arcade pit on the 31st. Let's see if my internet holds up. I didn't see what my score was, I'm curious. Let me jump in a level real quick. Just curious what I ended up with after a perfect run there. <laughs> uh, a little bit over a million, so yeah, you get a million points pretty consistently if you just do not die. Isn't that nice? They basically put the same challenge in here like five times. Don't die, don't game over. Get a million points. 
collect enough orbs in one go. Kind of game called Slice and Dice that some of my friends are playing. I'm gonna host over to it. Y'all have a good night.